What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this week. Today I want to go over a certain query performance tuning trick that's not going to work all the time, right? It's actually going to work rarely, but for those times that it will work, right, it's going to make you look like a performance tuning superstar. So the particular type of situation I'm talking about today is when you have ORs in your WHERE clauses. So let me explain with this example. Here we have a query where we are filtering on column three, uh, which has a non-clustered index on it, no other included columns. Um, and we're also trying to get column two from the table. And when we run it on this single predicate uh, on column three, we basically, our execution plan gets a, a index seek with a key lookup, because we're having to go back to our clustered index to get the other data that's not included as part of our non-clustered index. So overall, this is pretty, pretty efficient, pretty good. And then when we add a second uh, predicate to our where clause using an or, you'll see that our execution plan changes or tips to using a index scan instead. Basically, SQL Server says, hey, it's not worth doing all these row by row lookups. Uh, I'm gonna go and just read all of the data, scan the clustered index, get all the data all up front, and you know, filter it after that. Now, most of the time, that's a pretty good thing, right? I mean, that's the SQL optimizer tries to pick a good enough plan, and a lot of the time, you know, switching from a seek to a scan will be more efficient. The problem is, in certain situations, you know, we as humans, as developers, as DBAs, we know that SQL is switching over using that scan too quickly. So we have a couple of options of how to fix this. We could add indexes or modify our existing indexes, but for this particular trick, I don't want to give that as an option, right? Because a lot of times, maybe there's already a ton of indexes on a table and you don't want to go modifying them or adding them. Or maybe you're working with a data source where you can't modify the indexes. You simply don't have access. So another option we have is to use something like a for seek query hint. Um, I'm not a fan of query hints for permanent solutions usually. So what other options does that leave us with? Well, that's the, the performance tuning trick I want to talk about today. And the trick is rewriting our query so it doesn't use ORs, but instead uses union alls. So a lot of the time when you have a query that has a lot of ORs in the WHERE clause, it's pretty easy to rewrite it using union alls. You're going to get logically the same exact result, just that the query is written a different way. So what happens is the SQL Server optimizer looks at these select statements that are union all together, right, individually, and decides that individually index seeks with those key lookups are more efficient. And then it just takes all those index seek results and concatenates them together, unions them all at the end. This isn't always going to work well. Index seeks aren't always better, right? This specifically works in those scenarios where you know tipping from a seek to a scan is just inefficient. It happens a lot with heavily skewed data. Um, and when that happens, it can really affect the performance of your query. If we take a look at the read counts for these queries in particular, you'll see that the, uh, the query before where we just had the ORs and the WHERE clause actually does more logical reads than our queries with the union alls. And in this demo example, we don't have a, a ton of data here, but you can imagine if we had a table with millions, tens of millions of rows, uh, this discrepancy in reads could become pretty dramatic and the performance differences between these two queries become significant as well. And so that's it for this week. I hope you can use this trick at some point in the future. It's, it's just a good thing to know to kind of keep in your back pocket for when you can use it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and I'll see you all again next week, same time, same place. Thanks.